daddy's girl. Urban Dictionary tells me that a daddy's girl is a spoiled, bossy, total brat. I wouldn't consider myself any of that. But I do know that my father is the strongest and toughest and kindest man I've ever met, and I wouldn't consider him anything less than my best friend. So yes, I am a daddy's girl. My father never told me I was bossy. He never told me my convictions were like sandpaper to the ears of men. Instead, he celebrated me as Xena warrior princess, gave me make-believe kingdoms to reign and handmade weapons to yield. My father never told me to be quiet, to stop my voice from being heard. He never told me that I held my opinions like a battle shield in front of me. He never told me to surrender. My father never told me I was wrong. He never silenced me. Instead, he lifted me onto his shoulders and became my podium. He taught me to express what often left me feeling ashamed of my feelings, my brazenness, to hold my convictions close to my heart like diamond rib cages. My father treated me like my bones were made of emeralds. He taught me to respect my opinions above all else, even when they shifted like weight. He told me I was brave, and to this day, I believe him. My father didn't tell me I was pretty, but he called me beautiful when I needed to hear it. And there were so many times I needed to hear it. But I never needed it as much as I needed validation in bedtime stories and someone to look for fairies in the forest with. Instead of beauty, my father celebrated my intelligence, my creativity, and my kindness. He taught me that mirrors are one-dimensional and scales cannot measure your capacity to love or your willingness to learn. He taught me that value is not derived from the formula of the university GPA scale and that success is not measured by salary. He taught me that these things are intrinsically linked with your ability to hold hands with your grandmother, to spend hours immersed in other worlds mapped onto crinkled paper. He used to fall asleep reading Harry Potter to me. My father built within me a love of reading before I could even read. That's expanding my personality beyond little pink dresses and Barbie dolls. My father always came when I called from twisted sheets of nightmares at three in the morning. And when my, and when my father built my brother's swords, he also built them for me. Because real princesses don't need rescuing. He built me bookshelves to house my growing mind and never left my passions behind, lugging suitcases of books for me on family vacations. My father never treated me like property to be handed to my future husband. He never treated me like an antique ivory hairbrush to be passed down through generations. He treated me like a human being, never lectured me about purity or staying quiet at the dinner table. Instead, he told me to never stop searching, to never stop smiling, to never stop creating things. My father named me after a dream he had, where he was a Gaelic warrior restoring peace from the top of hillside. And so he raised me to be a lioness with the heart of a nightingale. My father never mentioned Christina Aguilera or Britney Spears, but he did teach me about Anne Frank and how to look up to women who left nail marks sealed onto the earth years after their fingerprints faded. And one time, my father wandered London graveyards with me at midnight when I was only 12 years old. We got chased out of the Templar church by a recently awoken security guard, and he bought me a cheap teddy bear to always remember the way the murky rain fell and the wind in our faces on the winding rickshaw. He introduced me to lattes and Che Guevara on a family vacation to Las Vegas when I was 13, and he was proud of his dreadlocked 14-year-old daughter. But these days, my father doesn't need to go looking for magic under toadstools with me. He doesn't need to prescribe history books as antibiotics for panic attacks and insecurity. He doesn't need to remind me that I don't need rescuing. Because my father taught me that I'm not Rapunzel. I am the steadfast stone tower. He taught me that magic is real, but that it flows in rainbows under my skin. He taught me that I don't need to be thin or have perfect skin to be loved and to love myself above all else. He taught me that my mind is a giant bookshelf of handwritten histories and that mysteries make life all that much better. 
One Sunday a year is not enough to celebrate my father and all that he's taught me. So today I'm wishing that I could recite this in person every single morning as he pours his coffee and turns on the news, because he deserves that. And as his daughter, I'm afraid sometimes I fall short. But I hope he knows that I won't always be his little girl, because he's made me into a woman that I hope he's proud of. Because I am more than proud to be his daughter. Happy Father's Day.